Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and we have our first mech cluster. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. We got a few mini slug turrets. We have a mech high shield, um, and a mech assembler, two of them, a toxic spewer. We need to take care of this, like, pretty quickly, I would say, um, as we are growing crops, um... Well, and also our pe our people could be impacted by it. Milo is death resting right now. Everyone else is ready to go. How do we want to approach this? Let's go ahead and everything's asleep right now. So let's go ahead and come down this way. Let's turn off fire at will. We do have run and gun now. And we will speed things up just a little bit. We have everyone restricted to inside the walls. We're going to go ahead and unrestrict them. Okay, and Reyna, why don't you chill there? Oh, we need cover. Um, okay, Reyna, come back this way. This is a high shield. Okay, Reyna... think I think this is gonna be it okay so everyone let's take out this guy and then this guy they are not doing so great uh Veronica you are currently our leader unfortunately okay um everyone else this guy and then this guy I'm surprised. Oh, the mech assemblers. I was, for some reason, I thought these were, like, the things that, like, pop open. Um, but we don't really need to deal with that, right? So why don't we have you just start taking that out? You guys can also take this guy out. Okay. Uh, you guys are not in cover anymore. And Reyna, let's have you... I guess you can just, like, go hide. Veronica, you should get into cover. Okay. Ooh, um, be real careful, you guys. And can you all hit that? I don't think Dimitri can. Oh, actually, he can. It's, we just have someone with a shotgun. Lawson. Okay, cool. That was not as bad as I thought it would be. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and claim these, uninstall them. We will deconstruct all that. Deconstruct this, this, and claim that. I think we'll go ahead and deconstruct it. Actually, I think there's a mod setting in Tweaks Galore so that we can grab that and pick it up. So we'll turn that on. Let's grab these. Let's haul those in urgently. We'll unforbid that. And you guys are free to go. Oh, actually, there's more plasteel. Um, so we have, we put some more base plants down. We're going to put this wall in. Um, I did some testing over the weekend. We do have the opportunity to get the monolith. Um, so there is a quest that can pop up and make that monolith appear and get us into the anomaly stuff. So uh, we will get our monolith. Um, it will spawn randomly when it does, but we do have a mod that allows us to move it. So we will pick it up and place it here for research purposes. Uh, we got all of this unroofed, uh, except for just like this area right here. Having this roof at the edge of the map prevents enemies from spawning in there uh, we still could get an infestation over here um, if we take a look at our base plans though it's well outside of our base plans uh, so we might just kind of like 
fill all that in. We'll we'll see what we do with it. Why is that a different color? Oh, it's just the grass showing through. Um, other than that, not too much happening around the base. We are doing all right with Hemogen. We are empty on dead corpses. Uh, we started putting some wall lights in so that we're not having to like refuel a bunch of stuff anymore. Actually, where is this torch lamp? We'll get rid of that as well. Um, we have our loot from um, from the uh, quest that we did last episode. Let's get these put in here. Where's the other one? Right there is a second one. Uh, did they not grab it yet? night well it's just down there so we'll toss that in there we built some more power we were struggling with power so those power cells will be nice and handy i'm gonna want to wall those off as well and we are working on carving out some extra space for base expansion so we're gonna build our first barracks over here get folks out of the hospital um, and try and figure out something better for our prisoners here soon um, I don't think in our base plans that we actually made a plan for a prison which is uh, a little wild. Uh, how do I change the visibility? There we go. Um, considering we need a lot of prisoners for all of the like uh, blood that we're going to need, I'm wondering if we turn one of these into a prison area. Well, we'll just build a couple barracks and we'll just use that for now. But eventually we will figure out all kinds of prisoner, prisoner things. Um, specifically because if we look at biotech, we have a, like drain caskets and all this other stuff. Um, so it would be nice to just like toss them in a drain casket and not have to worry about them. I think we do need nutrient paste stuff. Well, we don't need it, but having the nutrient pipes connected and a nutrient network going, like literally we toss people in a drain casket and ignore them. Like we just let the pipe network feed them and restore our blood supplies and all that other stuff so uh down here looks like we are building out this expansion getting ready to go for that monolith hopefully hopefully we can get it to spawn soon but we'll come back with more updates when we have them okay we just got a quest for a paid weather controller i am super interested in this to grab this nerve spiker um, so this is one of the new weapons from Anomaly, a crossbow-like device that throws rough spikes embedded with a paralytic biotoxin. Low damage, but it stuns non-mechanoid targets. Large targets are more resistant to the biotoxin and will be stunned for less time. I am super curious about that. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. Let's take a look at where it's at. Oh, uh, did it spawn yet? Don't think it's spawned yet. Site up here. Jump to location. Not too far away. Let's see. That is just a day away. And what did it say that it had? It had three man hunting tortoises. Um, Reyna, you are all right on death rest for now. Let's maybe... I guess let's send you and Sunaz. He has like a shotgun. Um... Form caravan. Let's go ahead and grab Reyna and Sunez. And we will just hit send. So we will come back with the crossbow. I pods arrived. Ooh, okay. Um ooh, who do we want to give this to? Who is I need to order these people according to their shooting skill. Um, okay, 13 on you. You are just terrible. 11, 4, okay, 7, 6. Soon as is a 10. Uh, okay, soon as, change of plans. You're going to equip this bow. Uh, Dyer, you're going to grab the shotgun. And I guess Lawson will give you this recurve bow. That's masterwork. And we have someone here that maybe could do a little training. What I'm really needing is... Why, why can't you trade here? What's going on? Interesting. Um, 
Maybe I'll try reloading the game and seeing if that'll work. I just can't seem to... Oh, it's not a trade. It is. It is beggars. Sorry, beggars. Actually, go look at them. Any of you guys great? Melee, sanguine, fun-loving. You're... You'd be great for the front line. Ecologist, vengeful animals. Uh, what are you? You're a dirt mole. Could use a miner. We do have a lot of mining to do. Ecologist, neat and vengeful. And you're great at animals. You're a dirt mole, so you love the fact that, like, we work overnight. Um... Okay. Well. How old are you? 58. Um. No unreachable spot. Okay. Uh, let's grab. Let's grab this. And let's just like, let's just invite you to join us. Okay, um, well, that was a 100% chance. Can you long jump out of here? No. Well, we'll see who survives. Oh man, okay. Um, fast walker, ocean lover, incapable of violence. I guess we will just take them on as some more blood bags. Uh, Dyer, you can go rest. Why don't you capture and you capture and we will go ahead and unforbid these things. Uh, Reyna and Sunaz. Sunaz is on his way. We'll get them to get this weather taken care of. Okay, we have arrived. Um, turtles. Let's take a look here. This is your range. Pretty good range. Not a great shot. One of our better shots, though. It also it is also raining. Okay. There's the stun. Oh, that's great. Why don't you come take this one out? Nice. Okay. Go ahead and pop in here, you guys. Ooh, this weather is pretty extreme. Oh man, <laughs> I feel like should have brought a couple more people just for this part of it. There we go. Okay. Uh, world, let's get you guys back home. Items. Let's grab this, these, uh, anything else. We could grab some slag. It'll just be more metal. Okay, cool. And then back at home, not too much going on. Just kind of like wrapping up some building. Uh, we did sell some things to those guys. Milo's fleeing a fire. Okay. Guess we're having some lightning here with this storm. Okay, and what we've been waiting for, the strange signal. Your colonists all feel a psychic message echoing. It's a signal from an inhuman, twisted mind that was left behind somewhere far away. You can focus on the signal and echo it back, but you can't tell what'll happen if you do. Okay, let's accept this and then... Let's see where this ends up spawning.
just speed it up a little bit. Looks like we have some fires going still. Okay, uh, there it is. We're going to go ahead and claim it. We're going to reinstall it right here. Um, who is good at construction? Who will do this quickly? Yuki, go ahead and grab that for me. Uh, we're not going to interact with it yet. I think we still have a lot of like prep work we want to do, at least getting folks into like individual rooms. Uh, but yeah, you can move the monolith if you have a mod. It does not, it is not a vanilla thing to be able to move it, but there are a couple mods out there. Um, and I'll get my mod pack uh, current state posted here in the next couple days. I'm still waiting for like a couple more mods to show up. Um, okay, we have gotten our fallen monolith. Yuki has noticed an ancient monolith partly buried nearby. If you investigate it, you could learn more. Um, once we once we start investigating this, we will start going down that anomaly path. We will unlock a new research. Um, that's all a uh, new research path and kind of like its own thing that's all anomaly based and we'll pretty much see mostly anomaly incidents i think um so not quite ready for that reina and sunas are gonna be making it home later this evening the other thing that we do need to get addressed is that veronica veronica is our blood lord she's not a vampire we are going to have Veronica and Reyna fight it out. Um, we need to do that. Otherwise, they will get upset. I think everyone's going to be upset. Um, if we take a look at Needs Hungry, Blo no Blood Feeder Master. Okay, so they're upset about that. But before we have them fight it out, if Reyna were to lose, we would lose our custom Elder Xenotype, uh, and we would not be able to get that back uh, without doing a lot of biotech things to try and recreate the xenotype so we're gonna have reyna actually convert veronica and we'll accept the outcome of the leadership challenge even though i will be really upset if we lose if we lose our starting colonist um so you right now are an elder okay yep let's go ahead and have them do the conversion right now Conversion, die. okay, that's fine. It's just converting prisoners. Um, we will, we're not gonna recruit you. We're gonna reduce resistance on you, bio. Are you actually good? You would be a good fighter. <laughs> you would be a good fighter if you weren't a coward. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so Reyna, um, let's go ahead and implant your Xenogenes in Veronica. And Veronica is now an elder. She's going to be in a coma for a few days. Once she is recovered, we'll have them fight it out and see who gets to be the true blood lord of this colony. Um, I think a lot going on for this episode, uh, at least from a getting into... Anomaly. We are set up. We are ready to go. A lot of, a lot of just like work, a lot of just like random work, but I'm happy where we're at. I think we're going to call this episode here. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And as always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.